let's see here what do we got first we got some ubisoft going on so apparently or allegedly that skull and bones game the pirate game that was more or less based off the pirate ship parts of black flag which was an awesome assassin's creed game spent between 650 to 850 million on its quadruple a game so what what is the difference between, between a triple a and a quadruple a one more a four asses in a row i uh, yeah whatever let's see here skull and bones cost between 650 to 850 million dollars how are they spending all this money on games that just end up being complete dog crap all right let's see here a rumor claims that ubisoft allegedly spent between 650 and 850 million that's a pretty big range to be honest with you that's like saying you know you spent bucks on something or you spent 10 bucks on something sure it sounds small at five and ten bucks but it's still a fairly large range of actual price let's see this comes from rumors from endymion so take it with a grain of salt but the guy doesn't usually seem to be the type that's gonna, you know, fib fib or anything, so we'll go with that. He shared, I was told that the project that ruined, I can't read today, Ubisoft was not actually Outlaws or Shadows, it was actually Skull and Bones. Well, yeah, if they spent between 650 and $850 million on it, imagine if they spent nearly a billion dollars on this game. If you're sitting there, and you're having to do, like, the math on this, right? And somebody said, hey, we spent a billion dollars, or nearly a billion dollars on this game. And, uh, yeah, now we don't think we're going to make half that back, let alone enough to pay for the game or break even. That sounds like just, wow, I, I couldn't even. My sources told me... They have seen multiple different versions of the game that were each completely different over the years. That doesn't surprise me because this game was delayed multiple times. Yeah, it was delayed numerous times. So the idea that there'd be different uh, versions of it really isn't that big of a surprise, to be honest. See, they were told that the budget that was spent on Skull and Bones that ranged between $650 million to $850 million over 10 years. So, like I said, that's a pretty wide range. I mean, even if it was only, i say, only $650 million, it's still a lot of money that they're not going to make back. And the Skull and Bones failed so badly for Ubisoft that the actual reason they're dying is because of this not because of outlaws because of the uh, skull and bones okay so is i and there's the uh, steam charts for skull and bones a nice big jump and then slowly go away and at the time excuse me of the screenshot it had 304 players at a 412 player peak in 24 hours holy cow i mean it's not concord bad but still let's see here it is estimated the game sold between 23,600 and 34,100 copies. For comparison, Concord sold 20,800 copies and 1,700 copies. So not Concord, but pretty close. But the bad thing is you don't really know how many copies they sold because they don't tell you. And uh, I'm... Sure, there's probably a way you could get those numbers, but I don't have that way to do that. So I just have to kind of go off of what's on my screen and what I'm seeing. But shortly, though, fucking like I said, could you imagine spending all of that money, right, to do this, to make your, your game? And then all of a sudden people are like, yeah, you know what? We're done. We're good. We don't want to mess with it anymore. We're golden, man. We're going to go and do our thing now. Bye. <laughs> 